Welcome to this tutorial on how to add leads in Pipedrive automatically on form submission and Webflow website. So guys, if you are using Webflow to build your website and Pipedrive as a CRM, you might looking for a way to automate the process of sending leads from your website to Pipedrive application. So in this video, I'll show you a simple automation which is going to uh, take the leads via form submission uh, from Webflow and add the leads into Pipedrive automatically. So this automation is going to save you a lot of your time and manual efforts and it is going to ensure that no potential lead slip through the cracks. So guys, we are going to set up this automation without any coding just by a few clicks. So stay tuned till the end of this video to learn this automation. To set up this automation, we are using Pabli Connect, which is an automation and integration tool. And this is the landing page of Pabli. And I'm going to paste the same link in the description as well. So from here, you can sign up for free and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations. So you can just sign up right now from the given link. And after that, you have to sign in and select the Pabli Connect product and you will reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect application. From here, you have to click on this create workflow button. Here you can give a suitable name to this workflow. So I am giving the name Webflow form to pipe drive. All right, so after giving such names, you have to click on this create button and you can see your workflow page is loading up like this. And here on this page, you will find these two modules, the trigger and the action. So with the help of these two things, we can set up any automation. So guys, trigger is that event which is going to start this workflow. And the action would be an automated consequence or the response of the trigger. So in our use case, receiving a lead via form submission in Webflow is going to trigger this workflow. And the action would be to send the same person as lead in Pipedrive. So here it will ask for choose uh, for, for you for to choose the application. So here we are going to connect with Webflow because Webflow is our trigger app. Search for Webflow. And here you have to select the trigger event as a new form submission. And it will give you this webhook URL. So with the help of this URL, we are going to connect with Webflow. And after that, we are going to fetch the response of that connection. Okay, so you need to follow these steps to add this web, webhook URL inside Webflow to create a connection or integration between Webflow and Pabli Connect. Okay, so here, uh, let us let me show you directly how you can do that. So this is Webflow applications dashboard and here are the uh, websites I'm creating. So this is a website from which we are receiving leads. Okay. So we have a project of this website and here we have these three dots. So when you click on these three dots, you will find this project settings option. Click on settings and under settings page, you have to click on this integrations tab. Under integrations, when you scroll down, you will find uh, the webhooks option right here. Okay, so you can see we have this add webhook button here by clicking on add webhook, you can select a webhook connection. So here it is asking the trigger type. So our trigger type is form submission selected. And in this webhook URL field, we are going to paste this URL. Okay, that's how we can create a connection. So click on copy here and paste this URL here in this field and then click on add webhook and a webhook is added here and we are connected with webflow all right now here you can see as we have copied the url it started showing waiting for the webhook connections response this means now we can perform a test submission test submission means now i'm going to open my website page that i have created and from that page i'm going to manually fill the form that we have and the response of that form will be captured here in this workflow and it will act as a test data for us to set up the automation further. Okay. So let me show you the page I have created. This is the page I have created website page. And this is the form I have. Uh, and here we are asking these two things, the name of the person and the email address. 
So let me just put the name of the person as dummy name. And let me put the email address as dummy at the red pavlitudes. Okay, and here we have the submit button. I'm clicking on submit. And here you can see the form ha submission has been received. Okay, so form is submitted. Let us see in our workflow, we got the data captured. And here you can see guys, we got the data of the form submission, the name, email address. Okay. Now guys, I want to uh, save this person as lead in pipe drive. For that to happen, we are going to connect pipe drive here in this action step. Search for pipe drive. Then select the action event as create lead. Okay. Then click on connect. From here, select add new connection. Then here it will ask for the API key or the token of pipe drive application. So you will find the key from the settings option of pipe drive. So let me show you that also. So this is uh, my pipe drive application. Let me show you. <clears throat> Here it is. Okay. So guys under pipe drive application, when you scroll, when you uh, click on this profile icon, you will find this personal preferences option. Click on personal preferences and under personal preferences, you will find this API tab. And here is the API key or the token that you want. So you can generate a new token or you can just copy the existing token and you have to paste the token here like this and then click on save and you'll be connected with pipe drive. Okay. All right. And here you can see you started asking for the leads name, the owner ID of the account, the organization, the person ID and everything. So we are going to use this test data that we have received here. And we are going to map these labels here in these fields to create a lead in pipe drive. Okay. So here in the, when you click on this na uh, lead name field like this, the previous trigger step will appear in the drop down. And when you click on it, you will find all the data here only from here, map this data name label. Okay. Then select the owner ID. And here I'm going to select the organization as let's say Venus power. Okay. This is my organization's. Here you can select any personal uh, person ID associated with this deal. Okay. So let me select that. So Gloria is associated with this deal. So I have selected it. You can provide a label to this lead as well as hot, warm or cold. So I'm selecting warm. Okay. If you have the currency of the deal, you can put the lead value and the lead currency here. But right now I, these are not compulsory things. So I'm leaving these things blank and here it's this flag indicates whether the lead was seen by someone in the pipe drive or not. So I'm selecting it false right now. It is not has been seen by anyone. It is just coming from a Webflow form submission. Okay. Now guys, we have this save and send test request button right here. So when you click on it, a test lead will be created in this organization, Venus power in, uh, in pipe drive. Let me show you that. So this is a, uh, this is the lead section of pipe drive. You can see I'm clicking on it and under here you can find the leads like this. Okay. So I'm going to click on and here you can see uh, everything related to the leads like the owner or the source. Okay. Everything. So here I'm going to click on save and send test request in my workflow and we will see if the test lead is uh, created or not. So this is the response we have received. Let me show you my pipe drive application and let me refresh the lead section. And here you can see guys, a new lead is created right now in front of you. And the name is dummy name. And this is the same name I have mapped here. You can see, okay, it's dummy name. And it got created here with the label warm, the source is API. And you can see any, every other detail from here only. Okay. By clicking on it. All right, so you can see the persons involved and the organization in which the lead is added. All right, so this is how it is going to work, guys. So we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up it only once. After that, you don't even have to open this workflow. It is going to silently run in the background. And in real time, whenever any real person is going to fill your website form, the person will be added as a lead in Pipedrive automatically. And guys, you can use this workflow as well as I'm going to paste the link of this same workflow in the description and you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly. 
गाइज थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग अवर वीडियो एंड प्लीज प्लीज लेट एस नो हाउ अवर ऑटोमेशन आइडियाज आर हेल्पिंग यू इन द कमेंट सेक्शन एंड इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेरीज रिलेटेड टू दिस एप्लीकेशन प्लीज आस्क योर क्वेरीज फ्रॉम दिस फोरम लिंक एंड डू चेक द प्राइजिंग ऑफ दिस एप्लीकेशन फ्रॉम दिस लिंक एंड गाइज वी आर ओपन टू आइडियाज इफ यू वॉन्ट एस दैट वी शुड मेक वीडियोज ऑन अदर एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ योर बिजनेस प्लीज डू लेट एस नो इन द कमेंट सेक्शन एंड इफ यू लाइक अवर वर्क प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल